A man who was, until recently, a top executive at one of the biggest health insurance companies in the nation, who has now turned whistleblower and is one of the industry's most outspoken critics. And Ron actually went to visit with this man, see how it's changed his life. Well, that's right, Bill. Uh, for years, Wendell Potter worked his way to the top of one of the largest health insurance companies in the nation. As you said, this was Cigna. He was uh, Cigna's media strategist, its advocate and defender. Until he underwent a crisis of conscience, I spoke to Potter about his personal journey from health industry insider to outsider. Wendell Potter spends most of his time at home these days. The big office, the big salary, the big job, they're gone. He used to be the top public relations executive at one of the leading health insurance companies. Now he's an outspoken critic of the industry in which he worked for 20 years. If I can do anything about it, I'm going to speak out. The transformation of Wendell Potter began two years ago during a visit to his hometown in rural East Tennessee. I went to a what I'd read in the newspaper of a, some kind of a health care expedition that was being held a, across the state line in Wise, Virginia. And out of curiosity, he went there. What he saw shocked him. Hundreds of people lined up at a fairgrounds waiting to see doctors at an annual free clinic. Many waited outside in the rain to be treated in animal stalls. To see it in the way I saw it was just uh, a sudden realization of, of what really happens to so many people in this country because they don't have insurance. And it was just like something rushed at me. Uh, uh, I just felt that I had been hit by lightning or something. Then, in late 2007, 17-year-old Natalie Sarkeesian needed a liver transplant, but Cigna declined to pay for it. Potter was the company's front man as the controversy raged. Eventually, the company relented, but it was too late to save Natalie. How did that affect you personally? Uh, it was just, just awful. He said to me, Alex, you know, I'm, I'm not very proud of what I'm doing. Soon after, Potter quit Cigna. He was 56 years old and did not have another job lined up. Potter's wife, Luella, worried about how they would get by. Uh, she was nervous, you know, she was... Um, she was worried about it. Of course, huh? yeah, you know. She supports my dad, you know, but, uh, uh, but she was worried, yeah. For a year, Potter said nothing publicly that was critical of the health care industry until the Obama health care reform Whatever plan reform and what pass. Potter perceived as the health care industry working furiously to stop it. Last month, he testified before Congress. And I saw how they confused their customers and dumped the sick uh, so, all they, so also they can satisfy their Wall Street investors. Talk to MY2, Potter says his Canada friends Department have stood by him, but he has paid a price. Loss of income, status, position, and colleagues. The price is high. It's, it's hard to do this. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I did it. I have no regrets at all. And we asked Cigna for a response to what Potter said. We got a written reply from an insurance industry trade group, which told us that it supports health care reform, but not a government plan that would, it said, dismantle employer coverage, bankrupt hospitals, and increase the federal budget. And we should point out that Cigna manages ABC's health care.